y'all this is first day hair can you believe it first day hair well i mean like after it dried overnight and everything but this is my first day hair big hair don't mother effing care what's up guys it's Shanice welcome back to my channel you already know the deal if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button down below if you are new what's good what's popping welcome to the family so today I'm gonna do a highly requested video I've been getting so many requests to do a updated curly hair routine and updated wash and go routine I kind of had to master my wash and go routine again especially because it's summer now my hair just act so different and I feel like I finally did that I did switch up a little bit of my products some of the products are still the same but without further ado let's just hop right into this video and if you do like it definitely hit that thumbs up button it does help me so 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 so, so much so yeah um I love you guys as usual deuces okay so first things first I do love to use OGX products to shampoo and condition my hair this is the Shea soft and smooth shampoo and then I use the Bonding Plex Conditioner, which is my absolute favorite. They're affordable, smells amazing, and they work bomb in my hair. So once I'm done shampooing and conditioning my hair, I did tie my hair up in this cotton t-shirt just to suck up the excess water. I do, however, do all of my curly hair routine in the shower, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do it out of the shower um, just so you guys can see everything better. And the first thing I like to do is section my hair off just to make everything a lot easier, easier to apply the products. It always works so much better this way because the products are evenly dispersed throughout my entire head. So yeah, I'm just gonna use some clips to clip it up and begin with the back section. Okay, so for me, my hair has to be super soaking wet in order for my curly hair routine to work. So I'm spritzing the hell out of my water with this spray bottle. I'm just gonna keep spraying and spraying and spraying until my hair is dripping wet. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply the Bonding Plex Conditioner. I'm going to use this as a leave-in. So I'm using a good amount and I'm going to apply that on each section of my hair. So this is going to really smooth my hair out, make my hair super easy to detangle. And it's just going to start making my curls pop. So I'm just going to work that in and then I'm going to get into detangling. Okay, so next I'm gonna be going in with the Diva Curl B Leave-In. I love this stuff so much. It's sort of like a jelly, liquidy, watery consistency. So it provides my hair with so much slip and it just works so well with my hair because my hair really likes water-based products, especially to begin with. So it's gonna give me a lot of slip. It's gonna make my curls pop. And I can't really give you the exact measurement of how much I put in my hair. I just put enough in to where I feel the slippage. It's like a feeling, you know, that you can only describe by touching your hair. So now I'm going to be breaking up this larger section into subsections just so it's easier to apply the product. And I'm going to be using the Myo Organics Avocado Hair Milk. And I really love this stuff. It's super, super moisturizing. And what I notice about my hair is that I need something that's just going to overall just moisturize my hair it doesn't have to make my curls pop it doesn't have to do any defining none of that I just need something that's super moisturizing and that's what this product does for my hair I love it because it's nice and thick but it does not weigh my hair down it's super light so yeah I'm just going to apply that to each little section by raking it in and smoothing it Okay, so next up is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. I really love gels for my hair to really lock everything in, to really define and hold my curls together. So I'm applying this product a generous amount to each little subsection. And this is gonna be the product that really defines my curls. It's gonna make my curls pop. It's gonna do everything that I need it to do. So I'm just gonna really work that in. I'm going to rake it and smooth it and all of that and then move on to the next section. So again, I'm gonna apply the avocado hair milk and I'm going to work that in. And this is of course gonna make my hair super moisturized and it's not gonna be dry or any of that, which is what I usually struggle with with my wash and go. So this is gonna make it really nice and you know moisturized and shiny and all that. And then on top of that, applying the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel and really smoothing that into my hair so it can make my curls nice and defined. Mm -hmm. 
And lastly, to seal everything in, I am using an oil from the Curls Blueberry Bliss line, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into my hands and work it in. And this is gonna, like I said, seal everything in, give me some shine and all of that. So yeah, now that the back section is done, I am going to move on to the front sections, and I'm literally gonna follow the same exact steps. First things first, I'm going to drench my hair in water, make sure that it's nice and soaked and literally dripping down my neck. Second, I'm gonna apply the conditioner and use it as a leave-in conditioner. And this is mainly just for smoothing purposes, for detangling purposes and all of that. After detangling, I'm going to apply the Diva Curl B Leave-In as my water-based leave-in conditioner and just work that throughout the entire large section. Next, we are gonna break up the larger sections into smaller subsections to apply the rest of the products. We are gonna go in with the Mayo Organics Avocado Leave-In. I like to apply a generous amount of that and work it in for moisturizing purposes. And I really, really suffer with dry hair, so this has helped me so much in my wash and go routine. And it's definitely not a product that I would gravitate towards for my wash and goes, just because it doesn't say defining curls or anything like that, but it works as a layering product. And then lastly, we are going to apply the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel on top to define my curls and make these curls last a long time. So yeah, I'm just going to continue the same steps throughout the rest of my hair. And you guys can just listen to some music now and jam with me. Alrighty, so this is what my hair looks like once I finished all of the sections. So I'm just taking it down out of the clips to show you guys how defined it is and you know, showing you guys that there's not a lot of frizz going on. That's like one of the best signs that you're gonna have a bomb wash and go if there's not a lot of frizz to begin with. So this little band here is something new that I've been using. It's from Satin Line Caps. I will link it down below and sorry for the autofocus thing going on, but I'm using this sort of like a headband to kind of pre-lay my edges. So I'm just gonna use it, um, you know, as a headband and just gonna really lay down my hair in that area. So yeah, this is how my hair is looking. As you can see, it's nice and defined and it looks super moisturized and healthy, but we are going to let it air dry overnight. And usually my hair takes at least a day to air dry, so I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So before I went to bed and before my hair air dried, I did put my hair up into this pineapple right here and I did use my satin scarf to do that. So I'm just gonna take it down and show you guys how my hair is looking. So the last thing I like to do is apply this Chi Silk Infusion Serum and I'm gonna apply a good amount of that all throughout my hair. And this is gonna really help, you know, take out the crunch that the gel left on my hair. It's gonna take out the gel cast and all of that. I actually kind of like the gel cast just because it, it shows me that my hair is gonna last a super long time even if it's humid outside and whatnot. And then we are gonna go into laying my edges and we are gonna be using my favorite Blueberry Bliss Control Paste. You guys know this is like OG product right here. So I'm just gonna lay my edges slightly, not doing too much. And then after that, we are gonna fluff out these roots, give me some volume, cause you know your girl loves volume, your girl loves big hair. So we are going to do that and we're good to go. So yeah, these are my final results. Finally got my summer hair routine down packed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Deuces, I love you guys.